Hey guys, Iron here with a new video. This time we will be checking out a class and I'll be looking to see if you or I should main this. I have leveled up the Musa to level 50 at this point and I will mainly be looking at how fun the class is to play. As you all know, you can put some gear on it and power level your character through the main quest or just murder a bunch, just loads of mob, murder them. However, I would recommend to do the main quest line primarily to get contribution points on every alt you make and also collect all the inventory upgrades from that so you can always turn it into a storage character. Trust me, using CP for vault storage is a business. Real BDO players use storage alts. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Either is fine. Please. Come on, please. P put the gun down. Alright, so, Musa. How does it stack up? For this gameplay, I used the Loire set and the Trint accessory set, but I did use the main weapon and sub weapon that I got from the main quest line. So I didn't cheat with the weapons. I, I did, however, cheat with the uh, accessories and the armor. So, uh, yeah. Also, even if you did not cheat like I did, your knowledge on certain enemies will be higher than when you started the game. So you would be dealing higher damage with this character anyway, even if you don't use it. So, <laughs> you might as well make it a wrecking ball. I leveled the Musa up to level 50 in 3-4 to four hours or so, and I had great fun with it. I mainly gravitate to play a melee character, mostly monk or kung fu classes, so me playing witch can get uh, boring at times to the fact it's an immobile class without any fancy moves. Which players out there, let me know if you also sometimes think it's a pretty dull class to grind with. Well, at least it is for me. Awakening fixes it a bit, so not nearly enough. Now, Musa on the other hand is cool and flashy with its quick movement, sword thrust and sidestepping ability. The fun factor for me goes up a lot and at the end of the day, fun is why we play. Having said that, both classes conflict with each other once they awaken as they're both excellent and easy to play grind classes. However, Witch and Wizards scale well on the low AP side, meaning she is a great character to start with, but she loses out on a lot when people start to get into higher AP brackets. This is mainly because pets have 80 AP and don't scale with the power of the character. I will do a video on this at a later date. Just pets are underpowered. Now, Musa is different. He scales well with high AP. He does better in 1 versus 1 PvP than a Witch Wizard does due to his high mobility and he is quite fun to play. But at the end of the day, his main focus is still grinding mobs and doing it very well. But the Witch Wizard, like I said, does that also really, really well. Now, the if classes part. I know this is partially opinion based, but I have played most, if not all of the classes on the list that we have on PlayStation right now. So uh, if you are playing a warrior, you're gonna get a cool two-handed sword and a lot better sustain during awakening. But both one versus one and grinding mobs won't be the best. If you are playing a Berserker, I think you have more self-sustain and a better chance in one versus one while losing out a little bit in grinding speed, though one good grab turns a tight in PvP, especially in a group, but yeah, well, then we're not talking about 1v1, of course. Iron, you dummy. Now, if you're playing a Ranger, you're going to be in a rude awakening when she gets a dual wield swords and dagger when she awakens. <laughs> See the pun there? She will be very high damage, but very fragile. So be careful with that class. She's gonna change quite a lot. Now, if you are playing a sorceress, you most likely know she's excellent for uh, at 1v1, but incredibly hard to play well, and it might cause burnout for the most. Keep that in mind. I couldn't keep up with all the button clicks you had to do, and with Carpal Tunnel right around the corner, yeah, Sorceress was not the class for me. Now, having said that, I will probably do... I'll, I'll try Sorceress on PlayStation, but I think I will not have enough, well, uh, finger dexterity to play her well with the controller. Anyways, 
which wizards we already covered those now having said all that in the end this is BDO and AP fixes everything if your AP isn't fixing your class issues you're just not stacking enough AP man so just stack on keep keep putting more AP on it so in the end should you main the Musa class well that that depends on your playstyle and preference if you like grinding mobs in style with high mobility this class should be one for you to at least try out especially after awakening when the Musa gets his glaive and he becomes the spin to win so yeah I hope this helps some people out who are still on the fence I, I know I'm still out on there so uh, yeah see you there on the fence guys iron out <laughs>